Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ESP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you uh, one-way data binding uh, as well as the two-way data binding in ASP.NET Core Blazor. And uh, you know very well how to add uh, Razor pages, Razor components and the code behind file or you can say the component-based class in uh, Razor. If you don't know, so please visit my channel and learn previous video tutorials. Also, uh, I have to show you how to use uh, query string parameter in uh, Blazor. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to use one way as well as a two way data binding in a Blazor. So first of all create a new Razor page or the class uh, for that uh, tutorial. So the class is the binding example based class that is component uh, that is must to inherit that class with the component based class. Uh, you know uh, uh, in which you can add uh, the employee property and uh, employee is a model I want to add a uh, first name last name uh, uh, in the in uh, one way and two way data binding private override actually uh, that method is not a private it's a protected so you can use protected on async uh, that is on initialized async method and written base dot on initialized async method in which you can add employee in the single employee new employee and in the employee you can add id and the first name of the employee also add some other properties in the, in the employee class that like the uh, uh, that is city okay now after that you can add it in the on initialized async method id name is jacob and uh, the city is New York okay now after that you have to add a paste directive in the binding example that is binding example and also also use inherits keywords to add a base uh, to add a code behind file that is binding example base and in which you can add uh, one way and two way data binding example so first of all one way data binding on your label control uh, also one way data binding control uh, one way data binding on the input controls so one way data binding uh, actually uh, we can perform uh, two way data binding in a two different ways like on input methods like on the on uh, out of focus methods so this is the simple thing you can add it on the label that is employee.name employee.city okay this is the one way data binding and also you can bind uh, input control by use uh, by the one way data binding okay so one way data binding form control like input control and in which you can add Uh, input value equals to employee name 
and this is the one way data binding also the name and the city okay this is the simple binding and the other thing you can add that is the two way data binding by use a bind method so uh, sorry bind property so different way just copy that and paste it here this is the two way data binding and in, uh, instead of a value you can use bind at the rate of bind this is the two way data binding oops this is the only two way data binding okay so two way data binding the different form this is the two way data binding it's not a different form uh, it's a simple uh, form binding and the two way data binding in the different ways like just copy that and paste it here at the rate of bind also value bind column value and value picked from uh, event so at the rate of bind value colon event equals to on input similar this thing you can add it in the city so this thing is a uh, quite simple you can add into your project that is the one way data binding as well as the two way data binding in your project so just run it and uh, oops getting an error because uh, component uh, bind example start with a caps you know very well the class name of the razor component must start with the capital letter but it's a big mistake by me because i know very well about uh, that forms so must start with the capital letter you got this again this so just remove that class because rename uh, if you uh, i think i uh, i uh, i'm facing that type of bug in your visual studio if i change the name of the class that is the bind example looking like that it's not working because i want to change uh, the class name but it's not changed by the visual studio so you have to check it when we uh, rename it bind example and there is change but it's not changed save this and again you have to check the bind example in solution explorer bind example it's in the it's not changed so just removed it first of all copy all the codes and uh, paste in the new uh, razor component file and uh, run your example again again just try it it's and changed or not but it's not changed i think yeah it's when we saved it it's not changed so guys it's a bug in visual studio uh, when we change any file name in the uh, any file name of razor components that is not changed so just delete it and first of all copy all the codes and paste inside the binding bind example just remove it and again uh, razor page new item yes we dot called razor page bind example just paste it here and run your code easily must to you must to start your class name uh, must to uh, start your razor page with the caps in the caps so bind example there is a one way data binding as well as the two way data binding this is the one way data binding that is the simple thing in the two way data binding you have to check when we click on the check up just remove it and the focus out of the control that all 
the changes in the that occurs also when we uh, in the different way when removed and again you have to check all these things thank you very much for watching this video